what's up guys as you can tell by the title of this video i just wanted to help you guys kind of identify some sneaker accounts that are scammers um, some things that i look into to make sure if they're a legit account if they're a scamming account there are certain things that i look for so i'm going to show you guys today wanted to make this quick video because yesterday someone had dm me he was a beginner account too he told me to check out this this account right here that i'm showing you guys because he had bought something off of him and the person never shipped he stopped dming back to him so i checked out the account looked for the certain things that i looked for and i did notice that this account was a scamming account felt really bad for the guy because he was he was a beginner account he only had like 10 followers he was just trying to look for a good deal to make a quick flip so again i felt really bad for him that's why i wanted to make this video for you guys especially if you're a beginner reseller well let's get into this now here's the account king sneakers dot underscore um, the first thing I notice is that all the pictures are different. It's kind of like he's using someone else's pictures. I don't know how he's getting the paper with his name on it. But anyways, that's that's not always a sign. Some people do do that. Here's a sign that I go for though, like for these foam runners right here. That says for sale. Usually when they have when they just say multiple sizes instead of just listing the sizes they have, that's how you notice it's a scam because they want people to message them and say, do you have this size? So they can say, yeah. If they just list the sizes, you know, they might miss the size and then people won't DM them. So that's why they list it as multiple sizes instead of just saying what sizes they have. So here's another sign where I could tell they're a scammer. Let's look at this pan bread post, for example. You can see it's supposed to have three comments, right? If I click on it, it'll show two because he probably deleted one DM that said he's a scammer. Usually if you see deleted comments, that's one of the signs that I look for. And again, same thing as the other post, multiple sizes instead of just listing the sizes they have. This is supposed to have 13 comments. Let's check this out. One, two, three, four, five. Well, there's only six comments on this. So he deleted seven comments. So that's really suspicious already. Let's look at this account. Yep, that one comment is deleted. It's supposed to have one, but there isn't any. And look how his bulk posts are all like different backgrounds, different looking. This has, this supposed to have four comments, by the way. I said one, it has zero. So it's supposed to have four, but look how it's all different. Like this one has grass in the background. This one's cement. This one's all crowded. So this one's on the street. So that's how you guys could tell if it's just different, to be honest. This one's different. But yeah, that's one of the signs I look for. Different backgrounds, um, comments deleted. So here's another one that I found to be really obvious. G-Mix shoe plug. Um, you can see right here in the recent post. No comments, and again, all sizes available. But for this one, you can see right here, they don't even allow comments, so that's why it doesn't even show comments. It just shows the heart, which you could like to post, or you could send this post to someone. So they blocked they blocked off comments because people are spamming scammer in their posts. Yeah. So that's super obvious right here. For a shoe account to block comments, that'll tell you right away that's a scammer account. So don't fall for this. Especially when they're saying all sizes are available. I'm like, no, you don't have all the sizes. So here's a really obvious one, guys. G Mix shoe plug. Don't fall for his scams. So one more thing that I look for. I don't really have an example for you guys, but when you DM these scammers, or if you DM someone and the price is way too good to be true, they're trying to sell you like mochas for like 300. Don't fall for that. If it's too good to be true, it most likely is. Um, I got scammed when I first started reselling. I tried to buy some mochas off someone for like 250 and I just I thought it was legit. Like I said, I barely started reselling. I got scammed off that, so don't fall for it, guys. Um, another thing, if they're super easy to negotiate with, like at that time, they were just trying to sell it for like 350 and I had offered them 250 and he said, yeah, right away. So if, it's, if they're really easy to negotiate with, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time it is a scammer, so don't fall for it. But that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. If you have any questions or if you want to send me any accounts to my Instagram so I could check it out for you guys, just feel free to do that. My Instagram is the same exact name as my YouTube name, so look me up. If you have any questions at all, leave it down in the comment section below, and I'll answer you as soon as I can. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you guys out. Hopefully it prevents you guys from getting scammed in the future. But if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys next time. I now do raffles on my Instagram daily, so if you're into that kind of stuff and want to join a future one, shoot my Instagram a follow. It's jcresells559, same exact name as my YouTube name. Thank you guys for the support, and I hope to see you in the future raffle. I now do raffles on my Instagram daily, so if you're into that kind of stuff and want to join a future one, shoot my Instagram a follow. It's jcresells559, 
Same exact name as my YouTube name. Thank you guys for the support, and I hope to see you in the future raffle.